This is the 12th in the Wellbeing Monitor educational video series. In this video, we will show you the interaction between the administrator and the user through direct user actions. Good communications is to know and to be informed. Bad communications is not knowing and not being informed. So let's have a look at the different features for the user. The wellbeing monitor was designed with the user as the number one priority. And part of that was to make sure everything was clear, concise, and easy to use. If a user can switch on a light switch with one finger, then they can use this solution. So let's start with a due event. In this example, check blood pressure. The green box appears notifying that the event needs to be satisfied. All the user has to do is simply tap the green box and that's that until the next event. The admin, as you can see, has gone from a currently red status and it changes to green. All is good. Let me be the user and press I've done this. As you can see, immediately updates the administrator and the user screen. It's now counting down to the next event and the status has turned to green. So what other options does our loved one have when using the wellbeing monitor? Well, actually two important options and two nice to have. So once again, noting the administrator is on the left and the user is on the right. Let's see how things interact. Let's start with what is equivalent to a pendant in so much that I need help, which provides similar functionality to the older pendant solutions. The difference being this goes to a family member or caregiver, not an impersonal call center or the emergency services, which can be intimidating as a decision. So let's press I need help and see what happens. As you can see, on the user side, they're notified that the I need help was sent and a notification is sent to the administrator, a family member. Now the family member may straight away want to know where their loved one is. So at the touch of a button, they can go to the map view and see exactly where mom is. So as you saw, it immediately notifies the user that the message has been sent and it also quickly notifies the family administrator or caregiver that mum has requested help. Next is one of the nice to have features, I am napping. This can be pressed to notify the administrator or caregiver that mum is taking a nap and when she's back, it will also update. So no more waking up mum unnecessarily. Let me show you. As you can see, as I press, I'm napping, and you can see from the display on the administrator, it says I'm napping. And when we press, I'm back, it returns to the status of I am back and shows availability. The second nice to have and not forgetting the panic that can set in when you don't know where mum is and what she is doing. So for this we have I'm out. This can be pressed to notify the administrator or caregiver that has mum gone out and when she is back, it will notify you so. 
No more panicking about mum unnecessarily. So let's press out. As you can see, on the user side, it reminds them that they're out. And on the admin side, the status is updated to out. And when they return, they simply press I'm back. And once again, the administrator is updated and the status returns to available. The only other feature on the user screen, last but not least, is the one tap I need to talk to. In this case, it said I need to talk to Raymond Android. By tapping this option, the user is given the option to video conference via Skype now or maybe a Google offering in the future with the family administrator. Very simple. No searching through contacts. With one tap, it just works. So of course, we would like everything to go smoothly all the time, but sometimes it does not. I can guarantee mom on occasions will forget something like satisfying one of the events. Once you have established it and you just had a forgetful moment, as the administrator, you can override any of the events. You simply go to the event, tap on it and press override. Like all software solutions, they just keep getting better. And this will be the case with a string of enhancements over time to the wellbeing monitor. Finally, just as a reminder, to allow notifications, location services, and permanent display in settings. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed these training videos.